guys, how are you? We're back with another video and today I'm gonna show you my Pachislo slot machines. So pretty quick, Pachislo, they're these Japanese um, slot machines. So the only difference between a Pachislo and an American machine is the these ones take tokens and the Americans take regular quarters. So these are the tokens. They look like, like quarters, but they're a little bit taller. Just a tiny bit, that's the only difference. I'm pretty sure they're the same thickness. Yeah, I think they're, they're the same thickness, they're just a little bit taller. So I find out about these machines when I went to Japan. Um, we played a little bit, we didn't get really into it, but it was fun. And then when I came back to the United States, I saw some um, YouTube videos about it. I follow this YouTube uh, from uh, Retro Ralph and he posts that he got a couple of these machines and I, I was like, oh, that, that, that's a really good idea. One of those look nice, would look nice on my main cave, on my game room or garage, whatever. It seems to be fun. And then I also saw this um, other uh, YouTube video from uh, um, Arizona Arcade Heroes from uh, Corey. So they explain what's Pachislo, how do you play, I'll show you guys in a second and then I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna try to get one. So what I end up doing, uh, you, uh, Ralph uh, says on his video the, the easiest way to get one of these machines is going on, on your uh, Facebook marketplace and especially Arizona. So that's what I did, I put my uh, uh, location as Arizona around uh, Phoenix and that's where I found this uh, I found actually five machines I'll show you I, I purchased three from Corey from um, um, Arizona Arcade Heroes and then I purchased these other two from um, this from an elder guy and then the from a senior guy and from uh, this one from another guy Robert there from uh, Arizona so what I'm gonna be end up doing, I'm gonna keep this one for myself. This is a Neo Planet um, Pachitlo machine. I wish I could keep this one, but it seems that my wife is gonna give that one to her dad. And then I'm gonna sell this. Uh, this is a Zero One Pachitlo machine. It has a, a matrix screen on top. Let me show you. That's pretty cool. So if you guys are interested on this one, um, I, I'm, I'm on uh, South California, if you guys are nearby, send me a message and uh, we can make a deal on this. Again, this one, my wife is gonna give it to her dad and I'm gonna keep the, the Neo Planet. So let me show you how they work. This is my Neo Planet. So what you do, you get some tokens. Got some tokens over here. So a lot of people, what they do, they just do one by one. But you see this is actually a a mechanism so it's, it makes it easier for you you just make a stack of coins and you go like this and if you can see over here right here on this corner it shows you the credits that you have so the, I believe the max the maximum are 50 50 credits so let's do that 29 Again, just keep making stuff. It's really fast. It's instead of doing just one by one, like seven more. One more. So we have our, our 50 credits over here. And once you have your credits, you pull on this lever over here. It's gonna start spinning. And the difference between also American. Uh, slot machines and pachislo. The the Americans they stop by itself. On the on the um, Japanese uh, pachislo machines, you have to stop 
each rail. Oh, okay, we started in a nice way. We got a, we got ten credits. Uh, right here on top, it shows you the the whatever you need to get to get the coins. So if you, for example, if you get three oranges, you get six uh, credits or coins. Like right now, I just got um, three bells, so I get ten. I don't know what's the red number. So like the big price is the triple seven, the triple bar, and I believe uh, it's not about the the triple planets. And uh, let's let's do it again. Max bed. Again, you do it. You can do it in any order you want. Max bed. Press the level down. I got triple JP. That means uh, I get an extra roll, like free free play. Oh no! Now you guys are noticing this one has a screen on top. That's why I'm keeping this one. Uh, they're in a line. <laughs> Let me show you this other one. This is a pulsar, a new pulsar extra. I love this one. This one is so nice, and it's the same way. Like uh, you can tell, I already have a, a 25 credits. You do. I have 30 now. Press down. Same way. Nothing. Max bed. Okay. And a difference between this one and my uh, planet, Neo Planet, is that on my Neo Planet is always max bed. So you always have to do three credits. On this one, you can do, there's a button over here, you can do just one credit. It only activates that line on the middle. Two credits activates the line on the middle and the two next to it. And then the three credits activates the diagonal lines. So you have more chances of with three credits. Oof, almost. We'll go almost got the three. Um, but I still got something. So it says over here a cherry and another of the same one. It gives you uh, a price. Okay, let me show you so for example you don't want to play anymore and you still have uh, 44 credits you can um, press hold this button and it's gonna give you all your the credits that you have pretty cool so most of them they have these um, screens over here then they usually t tell you the payout and the credits so I have Three credits over there. So. And every time you win something, this screen over here, the payout, like I'm gonna ask for my. And it tells you how much the machine pay you. I'm gonna show you a video of me getting the big prices on these two. Actually, my wife got it on this one and I got it on this one, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you in a second. They're pretty cool.
love the way they look when everything is dark it's just amazing it's really nice i love it all the lights everywhere all the details it's really nice So the way the Japan does it, so they don't, so pretty much they don't think it's gambling because the way they do it, so you get, you go over there, you pay for your tokens, once you get your tokens back, you can buy prices with this. So you can buy toys, food, beverages, stuff like that. Uh, if you want, they have a, a cheeky way of doing it. If you want to get money for your tokens, the way they do it. You go over there, you buy a price, and then you can go to a different part of the building or actually sometimes even a different building on the city. And then they buy the toy or whatever you got for cash. So that's their, their workaround. So they pretend it's not gambling. So 99% of the time when you get a Pachislo machine, you should be getting two keys. One is to open the cabinet right here. And the other one is for the for the power supply. I'll show you how it works. So let me go this way. The first one, open the cabinet. This is how the cabinet looks inside. And the second second key is for the power supply right here. That's, let me show you how to change your odds and how to reset it. So you stick the key, you turn the key to the right side, and then you turn it off. Now, turn it back on, and you're gonna see this number right here. So this number go through one, through all the way to six. So six being the easiest, one being the hardest to get money. So the, let me explain it. So one is really hard to get money, but when you get when you get a price, you get a big price. So I would say like three and four are like right in the middle, in between, and then six is the easiest to hit prices, but they're like smaller price, uh, prices. So once you have it on the the um, level that you want it, I usually have it on three or four, depending on the occasion. I like it over there, probably in four over there. And then you come to the front, you hold this for three seconds, or depending on the machine, you pull it three times. And that should, that should lock the number. So now if I wanna change it, you see you press it, it doesn't change, cause it's locked. So now you go in your power supply and then just switch the key to the left again. That resets the machine, and then we're ready to play. Close the machine. We can add more tokens, and then we can keep playing. And a big favor, if, um, if you guys know, or you guys have a metal slug Pachislo machine, let me know in the comments if you guys are want to sell it or want to trade it. I'm looking for one of those. I'll put a, a, put a picture so you guys can see how it looks. But that that would be amazing. So that was a quick overview on my Pachislo slot machines, guys. Uh, again, uh, thanks uh, to Corey from uh, Arizona Arcade Heroes. He sold uh, three of his machines to me and then I got these other two. The first two I uh, already give one to my uh, friend, another one to my cousin. My wife is gonna give this one to her dad. And if any of you guys are interested on the on the uh, zero one, let me know in the comments. I live on uh, South California. And then I'm keeping this 
Neo Planet for myself. If you guys wanna, you can you can mod the inside of the coin mechanism so you can make it to a set quarters. I actually already did on this one. So this one, I don't think, I don't know. Oh, this, this is a quarter right here. Look, at, probably you can hear it's gonna work. It did work. It's really easy. You just go on the inside and then you put a piece of plastic or a tape on a, on, there's like a hole. That way the quarter doesn't fall because it's a little bit smaller. But you, you guys can do that if you want. That, I think that makes it illegal because that's pretty much gambling. Just keep it on your garage, keep it on your main cave, game room. Don't, don't let people they shouldn't know know that that takes quarters or real money so again guys thank you very much for watching my video let me know what do you guys think about this hopefully you guys can get one for your main cave game room garage and i'll see you in the next video